we're going to take this cactus and turn it into this. Can you eat any cactuses that are there? Um, cacti? Well, this is uh, the prickly pear cactus, mm -hmm. and uh, these are actually farm raised. If, if you know what you're uh, looking for, mm -hmm. uh, you could you could probably survive off of you know just eating it off a bush you see somewhere. Well, let's see so, how you peel it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> what you do is you kind of uh, you you want to grab the the ends that don't have um, the spines, mm -hmm. obviously, and then this is our cactus peeler. It's shaped in the way to where it kind of curves. So oh, it kind of goes like yes. that. Yes, so, um, so what you want to do is it just cleans it off that thing. And how far do you go? Do you go all the way down to the white? Uh, you actually don't because we like to have a little bit of the skin, um, especially it's important for when we grill it. Mm -hmm. um, it. It just gives it that char flavor uh, and then it also gives it kind of like a, like a texture. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like aloe almost. If it grows too big, then it's going to be kind of sour. Mm -hmm. So it's important to get the, the smaller the better. It does look like a sandal already. <laughs> <laughs> and then what we're going to do is score it. And then what we do uh, is we store it in water mm -hmm. for, uh, I'd say, about 24 hours. Um, and then it kind of gets like the mucusy parts out of it. So it's kind of like okra. Just got to be careful with it. Oh, and these are probably prickly, so you have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, after it's grilled, we'll just cut it into strips, mm -hmm. and uh, we actually cook it in red chili. Uh, you want to simmer it for at least like 30 minutes. It also helps tenderize the, the cactus itself. Mm -hmm. um, after the, and then the, grill of, the grilling of the cactus just gives it that smoky flavor. But for the plantain, what we do is you cut it open. After you fry it, you just, we just take a pan and just kind of smash it down, and then we get we get this shape. It's also like a sandal. Yeah, <laughs> just like a sandal. Mm -hmm. Or you could even bake the plantain itself, and until get, the the thing is why we do it in the fryer is to get that caramelization. You'll get the same effect in the in the oven. It just takes a little bit longer. So next thing we're gonna do is take some of our black beans. Just kind of layer it. And some of our squash. And then we'll take some of our cactus, which has been in the red chili. Yes, it looks so soft and juicy. And it just depends on how spicy you like it as well, if you want to add a little bit more of the juice. Or, um, spicy is good. Yeah, so this <laughs> is a good vegetarian dish so far right here, mm -hmm. uh, even vegan. Um, so I think people would love it. Just top it off with some greens. Some fresh greens. Mm -hmm. And then we top it with a little bit of pico de gallo, which is a jalapeno, onion, tomato, uh, a you little bit of lime juice. Yes. Well. Until it looks so fresh. So we'll go ahead and just top it with a little bit of queso fresco. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can serve this with anything. You can serve it with avocado. Mm -hmm. and it'll give it a little bit of extra, uh, like creaminess, especially if you don't want Ooh. the cheese. Oh, that could be a great. Yeah. So I think, so this is you know kind of our uh, very popular vegetarian dishes and. It's 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 pretty healthy because uh, I mean it doesn't have anything um, bad in there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all uh, basically pretty much plants. Though. Exactly. <laughs> Except for the the cheese. And like I said, you can sub it for anything, but a little cheese doesn't hurt. And um, again, I'm very excited yeah. to try this cactus. I've never <laughs> tried cactus before. Mmm. That kind of tastes like zucchini and that red chili sauce. Wow, you can tell that there's a lot of love in there. <laughs> cool, thanks. Delicious. And then the, the plantain itself gives it a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. as well. So, so it, so it plays flavors. well with the, with, the, with the pepper, or the chili. Mm. Hey, the cactus was my favorite because it's something I've never had anywhere else before and it is just so juicy the way you, you prepare it and that red chili is it's unbelievable. not too spicy for you? It's nice and spicy, but I enjoy <laughs> it. It's delicious. Stay tuned next week for a flavorful Pasión Ceviche recipe. Share and subscribe below.